Well, boys and girls, uh, come on now. All right, so, all right. okay, so today is, if it'll focus, will it focus? Am I too far away? Okay, here, let me just wide out. It's a lot easier. All right, so wide out. Okay. There we go. All right, so now today is 1241, Wednesday, August 15th, okay? Uh, 2018, this is the uh, after it has been rebuilt. Uh, the Toshiba RTS F5. There we go. Can't remember all these numbers. Okay, so now I want to take you through my pictures. That's the. Oh, wait, I have to zoom back in, right? So where's the zoomer? Right there we go. Alright, there's that. Alright, so. That's, that's pretty good. Okay, so there we are. That's pretty close. That's the top. Let me just take you through the features of it. It's got the left and right mics, headphones, balance, tone, volume. It's got a stereo wide, uh, your mode beat, your stereo wide, stereo mono. It's got your metal tape, normal and chrome. Then it's got uh, radio tape off. Uh, then radio, then uh, auxiliary, and then mic. I don't know what mic does. And then it's got AM FM switch, and then over here it has your medium wave, which is your AM band, and short wave one and two. Okay, and moving along. And here you have your, uh, it's rated for 120. I think you can change it to 230, but you have to go inside the unit and flip the thing over. Here's your auxiliary, left and right, your uh, line in and line out. Okay, but they call it auxiliary. So it's auxiliary in and line out. Ah, okay, here's the back of it. Let me just show you that real close, real quickly. All right, there it is. That's what it is. Okay, okay, fine. And then there's that's the inside the battery compartment. That's the tuning in. That's the fine tuning for the short wave. Okay, that's the bottom. That's the back with the screws out. That's cracking it open. Take a picture. And here I'm just taking a flash picture so I can see what's happening. The transformer is falling out because it's just held in by the two halves being put together. There's no screw actually holds it in place. So that's just inside of it as I flopped it open. So here's another picture, another picture. Take pictures of everything in case you need them or if you don't. Okay, so there's. Well, so let me show you what that is. Let's see here. Go back. Um, these speakers are rated. They're, what are they rated? They're uh, 2.5 ohms at 3 watts, and they look like they have a, um, like a, 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 a magnet cover. Well, you can't see what magnet it is, so there it is. All right. There's the front of it. Uh, I didn't realize that the, uh, the door is not permanently attached to the, this part that flops out. Okay, it, it slips on. It's, it has two catches on it. Only, anyway. You take one apart, you'll understand. And that's just that's a fuzzy picture. There's a clear picture, and then this is uh, <clears throat> takes a uh, clockwise motor, no date code, so I don't know. All right, uh, just more pictures. Let's see. Wait. Um, yeah, this had a belt, tar, and all that to it, so needed a new belt. That's what it looks like behind. There is no uh, there is no recording bar switch on this machine because it's all electronic. Okay. Uh, now this I wanted to point out to you. I took a picture. This is the microphone that I found, which is behind the tuning knob. That's an odd place for it, but that's how they do it. Here here again is another picture of the same thing. There is the microphone. Whoops. Anyway, there is the microphone. So much for mine. okay. And here's the deck. Here's the front. Here's that side, and then the back side, and then just take pictures as you go. And uh, let's see here. I don't know what I can show you here. It's just yeah, I had to go through a whole lot of tar stuff. And well, here the uh, both of them were full up of tar. Okay. And there's the. Okay, this didn't have a belt, so I put in a 5-inch belt, for those that are interested. Okay. And here it is going back together. All right. And here I replaced the counter belt, take a picture, you know. And there's the belt uh, that I... 
that's the old bill. Anyway, I can't remember. Doesn't matter. Okay, so. And oh, so that was it. So that's there it is all back together. So now let me play it for you. Alright. So let me zoom out. Let's see here. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Alright, so. Okay. There we go. Zoom out. And then I can show you my shirt. See all the well maybe you can't see it. Oh here, I'm just there, black stuff. Still can't see it. Anyway, who cares? Alright, uh, so now, um, okay, so, is that pretty close? What time we got on here? About six minutes, I think. Okay, well, that's, that's pretty good, right? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, so here we go. Here's, here's the front of the radio after I've done it, uh, re rebelted it and played with it and under, tried to understand it and everything. My example doesn't work as well as I would like it to, but you know, I only have the one. So, here's my recording tape, and it has a one touch record. Uh, of course, the one touch record doesn't do anything, it just goes into play mode. So, I don't quite understand why it does that, but it does that. Okay, so I'm not even going to try to record. And the other thing I want to show you while I have this fancy reel in here is that, let's see, show up, okay. Here, I can zoom into this for you a little bit. Yeah, that's good. And right there, okay. All right, so if I hit, if I hit the uh, one touch record, that's what it says there, it's still in play mode, okay. It's, you can still hear me talking while you're making some other recording. They've so, never done anything for it. Anyway, so hit, hit stop, and then I want to show you that it will fast forward, okay. But only momentary, and if you really push it, well, well, it won't lock into place, okay? And then if we hit uh, rewind, I mean, well, fast forward, whatever this says, it won't, it won't function at all, okay? So that's my example here. So now let me eject this, all right? Let me take a real piece of music here, and... Uh, Here's mom's phone. Okay, so hit play. And if you hit manual, it, it won't go, but it will play the other side once you hit play again. Okay, I think my tape has dropout, so let me check that tape. Let me get, uh, oh, I'm not, I can't do that. Yeah, what is this? Okay. Let me try this. This one has a good pad. All right. I'm going through a lot of tapes and having a lot of pad issues. So again, if I hit, let's go into reverse mode. If I hit that, hit back to play, it'll go to forward mode. So much for the tape deck, right? So it doesn't record, it doesn't, well, okay. That's fast forward. It will fast forward, it will not rewind. I don't know why, but, you know, these things are too fancy for me. It will play both sides of the tape. So here it is. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't know. Let's see here. Stay down. <laughs> there it is. Fine. And then if we hit, well, hit that. Okay. Have I established that? That works, so let's flip it over to radio. Okay. <laughs> hey, 
Yeah. 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 Short wave, and then here's the other short wave. Hey, well, I ain't got time to fiddle that, so now I'll put it over to aux, right? Here's aux, so there's no sound coming through it, so let me, well, let me wide out so you can see this, right? So, wide all the way out, how about, right? That's all the way out, so, yeah, you can see this. Okay, so here's a Sanyo uh, M7790K. Which is the K model, right? So we're using this as a a line out to this machine via the RCA jacks. All right, so going from there to here. So I'll just put this, like I said, in. That's their radio. There's the auxiliary. So if we hit this, turn this on radio. So if you just got to jam something into your, if you want to take your phone, and uh, if you want to take your phone and jam it into this thing, you can, but I just don't like jamming headphone jacks into my one little headphone jack, where whichever phone this is. So there we go. Here's a headphone jack. Anyway, I don't do headphone jacks. I don't do headphones. All right, but I just wanted to show you that it does work like that for line in uh, <clears throat> via the selector buttons on top here. Again, I don't know what the mic does. I haven't tried that out. I'm guessing that you could do karaoke or something like that with this model, but it's for sale. The cassette deck works kind of, doesn't record, doesn't fast forward, but it will play if you push and, you know, push on the button a bit hard. The tape counter does work. So I'll show the tape kind of working this here. Um, well, <laughs> uh, 